Hello, everyone. Welcome to our weekly discussion series that's hosted by the Chaldean Cultural Center in collaboration with the University of Michigan Detroit chapter, Unique Voices in Films, and CMN TV. Today, our special guest is Basim Al Amin. Hi, Basim. Hi, how are you? Good. So Basim is an Iraqi American actor, writer, and director, and he has a very interesting story that started from Iraq at age nine. We'll get to that in a minute, but um, Basim lives in Michigan right now, but he was born in Baghdad, Iraq, right Basim? Yeah, I'm in, uh, from Baghdad, Iraq, or Iraq, Baghdad, al it's, mm -hmm. it's my place, it's my city that I born. And um, you earned a bachelor's degree in television directing from the University of Baghdad College of Fine Arts. Uh, but you're, you know, you have a very interesting story about when you were nine years old, how you were almost discovered. Can you share that with us? Yeah, uh, it's uh, almost, uh, you know, this is the story of my gift, how I emitted the voice. Uh, it was, uh, I was being nine years old. I was in Cairo with my aunt. And uh, there is a very famous, I love him, very famous singer, uh, his name, uh, Abdul Halim Hafiz. So he had, at that time, uh, he, he wanted to sing a song in, 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 in our embassy. And there is, they made a party for this. And I came, and I'm so glad that I saw him at that time. So I take the microphone during that day, I may have the setup for the sound system. And I started the favorite song that is uh, in, in the same year. Uh, I think it was uh, 1974 or something like this. And uh, I started to sing. So the people come, what are you doing? The people, I was kids. So what are you doing? Oh, leave the microphone. And I said, no. He said, no, leave it. So I started to sing and I, at the end, he clapped for me and I'm very proud that all the people there in the sitting and the people that are starting to come uh, clap for me. And since that time, I discovered that maybe I will be something. So uh, I was being emitted the voice for my relatives, my comedy actors and grow, grow year after year. Now I'm emitted more than 250 uh, voice for the most uh, famous comedy actor or international actors. And so I go he, from- He planted that confidence and he, he saw something in you and he planted yeah. that confidence for you to pursue the arts. Yeah, he, he, he told my aunt at that time that I can take him and, uh, uh, you know, and support him and go to the conservatoire or something like this for the music and so on. Um, my aunt, you know, she don't know the future, she don't know, and I am have the lonely kids for them. Uh, I mean, for my mom and uh, dad, at that time, the reason that I go to, uh, went, sorry, to uh, Cairo at that time with my aunt, because my dad is passed away. So my aunt take me to not see the uh, sorrow and the bad things. So she took me and I studied there uh, two years. Uh, since that time, I learned how can I... Uh, get the accents for the Egyptians, you know, the, the way they are talking, I mean, the Egy Egyptians uh, accents. And this is helping me in the future to uh, imitate the most uh, Egyptian uh, actors. Uh, okay, like who? Tell, um, give us, can you, can you do a character right now? If you... Yeah, yeah, oh, the Egyptian one? Yeah, yeah, we all love Egyptian actors. Uh, but pick, okay. pick one that you uh, like to emit. <laughs> okay, uh, let me say. Um, okay, how many of them? <laughs> let's let's do one. Just pick one that's like he's she or he or she or whoever is famous, uh, and then you can share. Okay, okay, I will do two. Uh, okay. Of yeah, okay. Okay. So uh, let me say Mahmoud Abdul Aziz, Rafat Al Hajjan, all the. Most of the people are know him when he act the uh, Rafat al Hajjan. And uh, let me say uh, Yusuf Shaban, the, the, the manager of the intelligence army in Cairo at that time. And let me say that 
يوسف شعبان اسمع يا رافض المسألة دي مسألة خاصة وانت لازم تاخد بالك لانك انت في المخابرات واي غلطة ممكن انك تفقد حياتك عشانها قلت ايه يا رافض اشمع يا محسن بيه شاول لي على اي واحد لو في يوم من الايام بلد واحتاجت له هيقول لا انا في داك وفي دمشق يا محسن بيه This is two characters and wow, if this you learn is amazing well aside from the way that you were representing him so well but the way that you were acting too well th this is says a lot about your acting skills but that was beautiful <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much and from the international one as example uh, sean connery and sylvester stallone mr sylvester stallone i want you to say something to the people who saw you in this interview you know what this is this is, this is, this is a problem you know what because my accent is my accent is italian so i need two translations one from italian to english and the other one from english to arabic to let all the people who understand me thank you very much for this Oh my God, bravo, Boston. That was really, really good. I've never Thank heard you. So you. I know that I know that you've talked about it, but I've never really heard you um do these imitations. Now, sure. during during the shooting, I will make a lot of things in the makeup. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> Thank you. Boston was talking about so he has a uh, a role in an important uh co-starring role in a movie uh that I I'm producing, I mean, that I'm directing uh, Pomegranate. And so um, so this is how we ended up meeting because you sent a, a sample of your work, a reel, and we were very impressed. And Thank similarly you. to now, you know, actors, you you kind of, you don't, necessarily, you don't know their names, um, you don't know their history, you don't know anything. What you look for is what they can bring the, to the screen. And, and, and this and is what you're bringing, you're kind of showing that right now. Thank you so much, and this is a good chance to. I want to uh, to. I want to uh, thank you very much for choosing me, Mrs. Wian, and thank my uh, brothers. You are all brothers and sister. You and Sam Sacco. But I thank you very much for choosing me, and I hope so that I will that I will not gonna dis disappoint you, and uh, during my acting in your in your movie, and it's my movie also. Yes. And I have the uh, invitation for all the people who see this interview to come and see. It's very great movie, very great story, and very great people who acting and very great people that they are working on this movie. Thank you so much, Basim. And, You're welcome. And, you know, and I wanted to ask you then, you know, given your experience in Iraq, uh, working in television and directing, um, what was that experience like? And when you came here, how were you able, because you're, you're active here and you're active there, how were you able to continue that? Like, what, what did you find the difference and what were the challenges? Uh, honestly, in, in, in Iraq, I began with uh, episodes uh, with uh, Mr. Salam Al-Amir and Mr. Faisal al -Yasri. They are very famous uh, directing there and the directors there. And uh, I begin with the uh, Hikayat al Nufus Wal Fuse. This is with Mr. Salam al Amir and something historical, but I don't remember. I think Asbab Nizul Ayat, the reason Asbab Nizul al Ayat with Faisal Yasri. And uh, most of what I work with, it was uh, uh, I work in, 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 in a place between the chapter, I mean, the chapter one, chapter two, or uh, part one, part two, I have been the immediate voice uh, during the, uh, the rest they are taking and uh, work with uh, about 10 plays in, in Iraq. Uh, I begin in, uh, as a professional in the 90s. But when I came and I have episodes also in Qatar, in Syria, in, uh, in Emirat, in, uh, in Qatar, I have been uh, uh, in Nohada, that's mean the captain, part one, part two episodes. Uh, and Najmat uh, al Khalij, the star of the Gulf uh, in, in Dubai. And 
uh, in Bahrain مسلسل episodes it's called uh, 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 and uh, in Syria uh, I was with Salom Haddad with uh, uh, Turab, the brothers of the saints of something like this when I came here to America it's a uh, the good, wonderful things. I have been with uh, nine plays. Thanks God, it's all, it's my starting with the people who I work with. Uh, the first one was George Bush. The second one, Mama at the Facebook. Mama has Facebook. And uh, it's nine plays. So it's very good things. And- uh, but, but how are you able to do that? Like, uh, you know, because also the, there's the, like the language, you know, you were, Probably when you came here, did you know the language? How how do you learn everything and then be able to? The arts is not an easy thing to participate with, especially when you come from another country. Did you find it difficult, or did you find like the community here, you know, was welcoming and then that's and they were already active. That's how you were able to continue. No, thanks God. Uh, you know, I will tell you something about the acting is a gift. It's not something. I mean, it's not something that you are studying you have to have the gift for the acting. I mean, there is many people are uh, have a master or doctorate in, in, in an art, you know, and they are give and they are uh, studies in the, in the university. But when he go to a theater and uh, in the front of the lanes and cinema or whatever in TV, they cannot act. They can teach, but they cannot. You have to have the motion, you have to have, the feelings that you have to have the gift that you can able to uh, uh, to acting and uh, and by the way the this movie maybe my english is not very 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 perfect but uh, the good things in your movie that you are choosing me thank you again and some circle for this that you are choosing me to act with you guys and this is the first time that i act in in, in english but uh, I read the scripts uh, one, two, three times. It's, 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 it's wonderful. It's simple, wonderful, and it's have a good idea. Uh, sometimes uh, in the first moment that you are choosing me the, between me and you, but not between you and you, all the people that we're going <laughs> to yeah. I feel not scared, but I feel, you know, uh, feel a Afraid a little bit that, but I have a trust in God and myself and you that are going to be help me and that will help myself to uh, be a perfect in this. No one, no one perfect, but I will be a very good in this movie. Uh, I read the secret that's very simple sentences and it's very simple and the idea helping you to give the right motion to the actor in front of you. I'm not building uh, born here, but. But uh, God will be help us all that we will get yeah. a good thing. Well, and, and you, I think, you know, it seems like what you're saying is when, when you have a certain talent that um, language doesn't stop you, nationality doesn't stop you. You've gone to so many different countries and did plays and then you've found ways to act in, in the United States. Um, what I have found about a lot of immigrants is that they have so many challenges, but they they don't let that get in their way. And, uh, mo mo you know, the, the Iraqis that I interview, they have amazing stories. They always find a way to get things done. They'll come with nothing. Um, mm -hmm. And oftentimes they can't even pursue what they studied in, in their native country, but then they always find a way to make things happen because they uh, appreciate hard work. And so it seems like in your case, you just continued on really not allowing the change to stop you from what you love to do. I don't like anything to stop me. <laughs> I don't I don't believe in pump, you know, for the speed pump. No, I have to go forward. If I want to be uh, an actor, I will not only sit and pray. I mean, the God give us the chance, but we have to work on ourselves also. Uh, from for the from the first moment that I attended this country, I have 
a hope. I had a hope. I'm sorry. I had a hope to be uh, a good thing in acting and something like this. And the first, uh, Hussam Zoro, he choosing me to be a starring with him and Mr. Hani Nuri in the first uh, play at that time, George Bush. From the first moment that I attended the theater, the people are clapping me and they like what I what I present at that time among them. So uh, we were wonderful. And since that time I started and the people like what I give them. I mean, the fun that I give them. And thanks God, I mean, <laughs> everything was being wonderful. Everything and thanks God that he support. I mean, he support me. The Holy God has support me long, long, long time. And so, so, so much. And you are also, you, you are supporting me Thank and you. Sam support me. I always said the first moment that I be uh, a cinema actor, <laughs> it's because of you and Sam. Sam choosing me and he told you about me and you are read my, my uh, resume and you uh, meet me face to face and we uh, make our vision close together, remember? Yeah, and everything was being fine. Well, and and I think like Hassan Zoro, like you said, and Hani Nuri, um, similarly to them, I think like when when people see talent, it's it's recognizable, and, and we detect yeah. it. And similarly to them, we, who I think are really great artists as well, um, uh, they've I really appreciate over the years the amount of work they've done to tell Iraqi American stories. Um, we've talked a lot, you and I, about this. Um, so even though I've been here. I, I came as a child to the United States and you came when you were an adult, but we both have this sense like um, we want our stories to be told. We feel like it's so important for the arts to be nurtured and supported, um, you know, because our stories, unfortunately, sometimes or oftentimes are stereotyped and they don't have the kind of uh, visibility that other communities have. Um, and so what message would you have for you know, either our community or even outside of our community, like why why should they take the arts more seriously and, and what do they need to do to help make make certain things happen? You know, uh, the, the life here is the difference of Iraq. Uh, I don't mean that, but that in Iraq that you have time to work, you have time to sleep, you have time to spend sometimes with your family. Here, uh, you have to work your hard on yourself to learn an uh, a language. I mean, to learn the language, to learn how can you, uh, the, the, the way the way that the style for the work is different that when we are, most of the time, uh, the people are coming back tired to their home. They want to have a rest. They want to uh, sit with their kids, uh, see each other. Uh, I mean, the, in the long run, I mean, see his brother and sister his bob his mom whatever it is so here the time is very limited they don't have but uh, this is a good chance to tell them uh, to appreciate it, the people who work to get the arts to you i mean you have to go to uh, for your fun for yourself go to theater to cinema to whatever it is i mean you have to uh, get involved the art in your life because uh, I can, I don't know how can I say it, like in Khalingul, uh, you know, for, for, from the first moment that the, the, the old, old, old human being draw by the charcoal, uh, he didn't have a language or something to read or write. So uh, through the draw, the draw is one of the arts. Through the draw, he told us, our sto uh, his stories to us, to from that generation to us. I mean, draw something and give a, gave us a message to see what he's draw and how the wild animal attack him. How can at that time he fight the animal? How I mean, the art is the language that everybody understand them. So I mean, I واني واحد منهم يعني لغتي مو هالقد قويه اعذروني أه ارد اقول لهم انه احنا بنسوي هذا الفن كله على موتكم والاجلكم والعيونكم 
فاتمنى من الله انه تقدرون هذا الشيء وتجون وتشوفونه وتشوفون اللي اللي نقدم لكم اياه وان شاء الله يا ربي اني متمثلا وكل الفنانين اللي وياي وعلى راسنا مسز نعمو ويام نعمو سام ساكو وكل اللي يشتغلون بهذا الفيلم وكل اللي يشتغلون بالمسرحيات مثل حسام هاني غيرهم كلنا احنا نقدم هذا الشيء لكم الاجلكم المتعتكم راحتكم تطلعون شويه من جو الشغل تطلعون شويه من الارهاق من التفكير او بالله ما ادري شنو كذا احنا كل هاي الامور دا ترهقنا از اكزامبل اي ام تراك درايفر انا مو مو قاعد بالبيت و... وعندي تل فلوس بالبنك وقاعد يا انا بليونير اي دونت كير او اي ميك ذا ارت فور فان اند ذاتس ات لا انا هم تراك درايفر اي سبيند اباوت 14 اورز ا داي ديورينج ماي درايفنج ويز موست اوف اتنشن يو نو اني خارج اشتغل خارجي اون رود يعني مو لوكال حتى فدا اطلع في سبيل لكن عندي وقت انه اقرا السكريبت عندي وقت اني اتخيل دوري شلون عندي وقت انه راح يجي يوم مثلا اوقف من هذا الشغل ديورينج ذيس دايز واباشر عملي ويا ويام هذا كل التعب اللي دن تعبه بالاضافه الى انه التعب اللي دن تعبه في سبيل عيشتنا لكن مع ذلك كل هذا التعب صدقوني حتى لو احنا بالسينما وما نشوفكم بس لما نكون على المسرح وحتى لو قلت لي احنا بالسينما وما نشوفكم لكن نحس انه اول نظره زين اول ابتسامه اول لحظه انتباه من عندكم ان كل هذا التعب يروح ويتلاشى ونظل احنا نشعر بمتعه كبيره جدا واحنا نعرف بانه عملنا ما راح يروح حرامات وياكم يا جاليتنا الاعزاء يا كل الجاليه كل العرب كل الامريكان كل البيبل Oh yeah, because this is really the artist. That's what that's what's beautiful for the artist, like for the whole world. And you know, you say something today that reminded me of what Sam Sacco said last week about you know working while just I think people don't realize like uh, a lot of the artists they have full time jobs and they work very very hard, but then they will find the time to in addition to also um, you know play the roles that they want or draw the paintings that they want or write the book that they want they do this on the side and they find a way and, and this is how they spend their time so they're kind of working except the, that work feels a little bit different like i think for us arts is, is almost like play because we love it but in the same time it's also work because we really especially when we become real professionals we have to be very careful we have to memorize the lines you have to practice it a lot and, and writing you have to revise so it's also a lot of work and um so most people don't see that you know you you have that 14 hour shift that you're working and then you make and then when you're not working you're making that time for your other profession so um yeah. but you know it's such a blessing and and it's a blessing that you are able to have found that balance uh, that's a very beautiful thing um and our community would I've seen the plays. I've seen some of your plays. Um, I, I was able to see them online, but I've seen Hassan Zoro's plays in the past and they do bring a lot of joy. When we see them, we feel like there's somebody representing us and uh, the stories are very, very unique. I think what we're doing here with, with this movie, Pomegranate, is we're trying to reach a larger audience. We want people to see the beautiful side of our culture that is not seen as often you know a lot of the plays are limited to our community but we're so happy that you can uh, as an iraqi american represent an iraqi american <laughs> you know yeah. like so, uh, how often does that happen that an iraqi american represents an iraqi american rather than we have people that are from different backgrounds uh that yeah. play us but they're not really us you know and then they tell stories that are not really us either that's the other thing yeah and uh, i like very I, i like very much the harmony that you are doing to the people i mean me and hasina my wife in a movie uh, i like the harmony that you are doing i like my past but i have to live my future and my 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 time now so it's it's it's, it's a good things that i remember my past my culture my everything my memories my uh, life there because it's my country and also i have to planning to how or find a way how can i live here uh, i'm so sorry that i 
uh, talking in Arabic, uh, not sorry, I'm talking to Arabic because I want to explain something. Uh, maybe I cannot explain it by English language or uh, there is some words uh, you cannot translate if you have to say it in the Yeah, please the feel comfortable language. to express yeah. how you want. Yes, go ahead and express how you feel comfortable. No, 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 it's, it's okay. But I mean, what I'm saying now to, to the, let the people appreciate it, what we are doing for them. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, as I told you, I, uh, I see uh, very good things that you are wrote in our, in our story in the, in the, in the movie. So, and I found a lot of points, uh, it's, it's, it's very sensitive and it's touched the feeling and heart, you know, with my uh, daughter Samia and my, even Hasina. It's, uh, you know, she's tough, but she's good, <laughs> you know? Well, and, I, I think like what, you know, the-, the I mean, the personal in the movie, she's yeah, tough. Yeah, and, and the Iraqi American experience, and this is why I really love, um, I really love my job at the Chaldean Cultural Center because, you know, what you said about the past and about the future. So as, as an identity, there's, there's the Chaldean and you understand and you appreciate where you come from, your history. But at the same time, you also have to appreciate over time the developments that happen and the diversity that happen and the other people that come together in your life. And now we're in the United States. Uh, you bring into your circle, it, it, it's a different thing. Like your neighbors are Chaldeans and they're non-Chaldeans and they're Italians and they're Polish. And so it's a whole different experience. So you keep your past in your heart and you're aware of your history, but at the same time, you have to also look at the future. And I, I really like when you said that. Uh -huh. This is why I like like at the Chaldean Cultural Center, what I, what I have the opportunity to do is to kind of like invite and embrace Iraqis from all different backgrounds. Yeah, uh, but you know what? I believe in one thing: to be uh, to put uh, all of the worlds, all the people in all of the worlds, uh, in in the same individual balance or scale. You know, we are all coming from Eve and Adam, so we are all have one father, one mother. Whatever it is, the culture, whatever it is, the place, whatever it is, all the countries are uh, land, air water and sun and, and everything. So we have all had the things. All uh, The culture is different. It's not, it's not a big deal. Um, uh, but uh, the everything will, will, will be fun by, by when we say the joke. Everybody laughs. Uh, when we say something bad, everybody cry. When we say something serious, everybody get attention. So Whatever the culture is, uh, when you said about the Chaldean, the Chaldean are Iraqi, so they are they are my my citizen, they are my my follower, they are my my, my people. So uh, we are all in this land, you know. Uh, we have a message, not only the the artists or only the uh, the politics and only the religion men or no, all of us, even the 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 kids have a message and we have to uh, clear this message and give it with all of our hearts to the people لازم عندنا هاي الرساله نقدمها حتى الطفل حتى الكبير حتى كل احد الطفل من لما يقول امه امه يعني ده يوصل لك رساله انه يريد يشرب يريد ياكل يريد زين وبنفس الوقت هو هو اللي ينطيك الشعور بالحنان عليه اذا انت عندك ابن او عندك ابنه ينطيك الشعور بالحنان أنه أنت لازم رسالتك أنت كأب شلون تربيه شلون تدير بالك عليه إحنا يمكن بالنسبة للفنانين رسالتنا أعظم أكبر لأنه إحنا ننطي الكوميديا الفكرة المشاعر الأحاسيس feeling motion and ideas to the people whatever they are seeing us and أنا من أحب أقول لل ولو ست ويام ما قالت الفيلم مالتنا راح ينزل على نتفليكس فراح يكون الرقعه اي الرقعه مالتنا باسم از بوتينج ا لوت اوف جود فايبس اوت ذير اي ثانك يو فور ذات هيز نو اي اولويز تيل هيم ام لايك جست براي فور ايفري ثينج ان اور باك اند هي واز لايك وات ايفر يو نو هيز جامب اب هيز ميد ات هابن سو يا وات ايفر ذا تايم توكينج ات دازنت ماتر بس ذس نيوز ان شاء الله ان شاء الله 
Thank you so much. Our half hour is, uh, I told you it's going to go by fast, uh, but you know, and I look forward like in the next project that we have you on. Thank you very much for um, joining us and for all your um, talents. I promise me you and Sam Sako, when the movie got started, there is nothing, nothing at all called regime. And I will say that in, uh, in Al Pacino, there is nothing, there is nothing called regime. Don't ever say that, oh my God, I cannot eat because I'm in a regime. Wah! Yes for the food. Boston, <laughs> like most Middle Easterners, wants to make sure that we are fed very, very well. And um, this is problematic for some of us women, but it's okay. We'll make sure that we'll be able to eat during that time. Inshallah. Thank you, so Inshallah. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you so much. God bless you. Well, God bless you too. Take care.